Thanks for joining me. This is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on egg carton fractions. We use egg cartons to help visualize fractions in class, and this is based off a worksheet that students get in class. But it's a good video, or a good lesson, so let's get started. Number one, in each problem below, there are two identical pictures. Label each with a different fraction name and draw in yarn lines to show your thinking. In all problems, one egg carton is always worth one. And what they mean by one is one whole thing. So an entire filled egg carton is one whole. So they give us an example. Uh, let's go right to problem A. So I see that there's six eggs inside the egg carton. So if I do this, break it up into two sections or regions, and this one's totally filled, that means one half. Now I have to find a different fraction to name the same thing. Uh, there's several answers to this. Uh, a simple one, literally, is each one of these is its own little region, and then that means that the rest of them count the same way. So there's 12 things that make up the whole egg carton, and then how many are filled with eggs? Six. Six of the 12. Six twelfths would equal that. <coughs> B. I could count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten out of twelve. So very much like the one above, I could break it up into twelve equal parts, and ten of the twelve are filled in with an egg. So one fraction is ten. Twelfths. I could cut or not cut. I could break this up into equal regions like this, and then count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Five of the six are filled with eggs, so we would say five six. Okay, let's go to the next page, or next problem. Number two, on the egg cartons below, show and label two other fractions that have the same value as 4, 6. Okay, 4, 6. That 6 means how many equal parts make up the whole thing. So I'm going to just break it up into 6 equal parts. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts or sections. And then the top number of the fraction, the four, means how many are shaded in or colored in. So there's four of them. So one, two, three, four, five, of the six. Four, six. Now I just need to do that a different way. Well, looking at this carefully, this would equal an egg, that equal an egg. If I looked at these as eggs now, in a carton, it looks like there's eight out of twelve. So it would look like... this the eight twelfths if you need to divide them up into sections visually you would literally have all of these as their own section all twelve 
go to number three. Use a labeled sketch of the egg cartons to compare the two fractions below. So I have one third and three twelfths. <coughs> Let's make one third first. So we're going to label this sketch one third. The bottom number, the three, means that you're going to take the egg carton and divide it into three equal sections. So I can do that like this. And then the top number, the number one, means one of those three sections is filled or shaded in. So that represents one third. All right, on the other side, this is going to be 3 twelfths. So what that means is that the bottom number 12 means you're going to break this whole thing up into 12 equal pieces. And three at the top, three of the 12 are shaded in. And now you just have to look at the two and see which one's larger. One third's larger. It's larger by one egg, one twelfth. So I'm going to use the greater than symbol. All right, let's look at the next one. B, seven twelfths. I'm going to write seven twelfths here. I'm going to break this up into 12 equal sections. And 7 means how many of those 12 are shaded in. There's 7 twelfths. 2 thirds. The bottom number, the denominator, 3, means that's how many equal parts make up the whole thing. So I'm going to do this. And the top number, the numerator, the 2, means two of these regions are colored in or shaded in. Two of the three are completely filled in. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, this is now in two or in three regions and two of the three are colored in. Two thirds has eight eggs and seven twelfths only has seven so two thirds is larger so we're going to say for b seven twelfths is less than two thirds <coughs> the uh, letter c three fourths i have to look at the denominator the four and break this whole thing up into four equal sections i can do it like that The top number, the numerator, three, means three of those four sections are filled in. Okay, now I'm going to look at two-thirds. I'm going to look at the denominator, the bottom number, three, and that means you're going to break this whole thing up into three equal regions. The top number, the numerator, the two, means two of those three regions is filled in. Now I'm going to compare these two fractions. Uh, Three-fourths has nine eggs in it, two-thirds has eight eggs in it. Nine eggs is more than eight eggs, so three-fourths is greater than two-thirds. <coughs> we have one more. Number four. Gertie says that one-fourth is bigger than one-third because four is more than three. Do you agree with her? I'm not really sure if I agree with her. I think I'm going to sketch this out first, so I'm going to wait to answer A. I'm going to look at B. Please explain your thinking in words and sketches. Use the cartons below if you want to. I'm going to use the cartons below. So I'm going to make one-fourth right here. The four, the denominator on the bottom, means that this egg carton needs to be broken up into four equal pieces. 
the one on the top, which is the numerator, means one of those four sections is filled in. That's what one-fourth of an egg carton looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to do one-third. One-third. The bottom number, which is the denominator, three, tells me that I need to take the egg carton and break it up into three equal sections. Like that. The top number, the one, which is the numerator, means one of those three sections is filled in. Now I can compare these two fractions. Uh, one third is larger than one fourth. So let's see what Gertie thinks. Gertie says that one fourth is bigger than one third because four is more than three. Do you agree with her? No, I don't. One third has four eggs. One fourth only has three eggs. So, no, <coughs> I don't. Why? I could say something uh, like, based on my sketch, one third is larger than one fourth by well it's by one egg but I'm not gonna call it an egg I'm gonna call it a fraction I'm gonna call it by one twelfth one egg is is one twelfth so I'm gonna say it's larger by one twelfth I hope this has been helpful to you if you have any questions Please ask your teacher.